We close tonight on a tiny windswept island in Denmark, formerly a launching point for Viking invasions. Now it's the perfect conquest for Mark Phillips' continuing series, The Climate Diaries. It's an off the beaten track place, but a warming world is now beating a path to Samso's door. Because this small Danish sliver of an island around 20 miles long and with fewer than 4,000 people has already managed to get its greenhouse gas emissions down to virtually zero. It hasn't used any miraculous new technology. Instead, it's the old reliable renewables, wind and sun to make power, burning crop waste to produce heat. There's one, two, but three, it's four, not five, what Samso has done, five, it's here. how it's done it that has caught the world's attention. I'll follow you up, yeah? Climb with Soren Hermansen, a leader in Samso's rise to environmental fame. And you've got to go a long way up to understand how it works. These wind turbines weren't put up by some big conglomerate in search of government subsidies and profit. They were erected by local farmers and shareholders who saw that the island's economy could be improved and that they could cash in by investing in the environmental action. Wow. Things look different when you can do well by doing good. It's a definite king of the world moment. <laughs> we like the turbines better now because we own them. We don't have the discussion about they are ugly in the landscape. We don't, we don't have noise problems. And the birds, for some reason, don't die around these turbines. Goodbye. Jorgen Tranberg oh, okay. earns as much by selling wind and solar power as he makes from cattle and crops. The wind turbine there, he'll pay back uh, two, three times. And they have... That, that turbine has repaid itself two or three times over. Yeah. It's a very good feeling. The good news Samso story has brought us here once before. And when we first visited here nine years ago, we found despite the lack of fossil fuels, the morning shower was... Hot! And it's still hot, but much has changed here, including the shower curtain color. Samso, which was once considered to be at the radical edge of the response to climate change, is now considered the model of how it should be done. Now at the Energy Academy here, politicians and environmentalists from around the world come to study the Samso way. In Japan, they call it Viking leadership. <laughs> I don't know what they mean. Viking about leadership. Yeah, they call it Viking leadership. And there's more. They're working on another scheme now to stop running the new ferry on fossil fuels and to convert it to the methane that comes out of the back of the island's pigs. They're not finished here yet. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Samso. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.